hey what's up guys welcome to another video and in this particular video we are going to talk about how to use github to basically perform enumeration or maybe know about or fetch as much information as we can about a particular target we will also see how github can critically leak some of the sensitive information that can basically lead to compromise of different account and also lead to a very high or critical bug so let's get started if you are new to this channel then please go ahead and smash the subscribe button also do hit like share this video with your friends and your colleagues so that they also get aware about this particular channel and we, together we will learn so let's get started so to begin with let's understand what exactly is github or why github is being used or why it's so popular so to answer that simple question you might have seen from the page itself like you know 65 plus million developers 3 plus million organization and 200 plus million repository that means that uh, you know all the organization all over the world they typically use github now mostly they are developer that use this github platform to basically push different code and maybe update different version and uh, so in github it is called as push and pull not something like upload or download so that's the github language basically now if you if you have not uh, heard or use this github i would definitely encourage you to sign up to this particular github or any particular github account and start using it probably if you are in information security or maybe even in software domain then this is one of the place or one of the very basic essential that you must know now as, as i already told you it's basically a platform that allows developer to communicate push their code or maybe upload their code or share different function fire an issue fix the bug and all the stuff right now to understand it more simpler way let's consider you are trying to build a you know house or something then you would have different people coming who will be doing for the bricks design who will be doing for uh, the window design who will be doing for the coloring part and all those things right so consider each of them as a component of your house then uh, or each of them work as a component of their house that means that for every organization there would be some application that they will be developing and each developer have their own part to contribute with each their own issue to resolve own idea to suggest and maybe implement and use so that's how the github work now since we are going to talk about github as an uh, enumeration tool uh, you must have heard about google docs like right? if you don't know about google docs then probably i will make a video do let me in the comment box otherwise you can type like google docs and it will still show you what are the different uh, Google Docs like that is something like in title, uh, you know, in uh, URL, all the stuff. I'm not going to talk about Google Docs because that is not something this particular video is about. So you can uh, search about Google Docs and uh, understand them better. Like what are the different query, how they are being used to find out different stuff like login page and password and exploit and all the stuff. Right. Again, this all video is going to be for educational. Do not misuse the content. Right. So let's look at uh, GitHub, how we can use basically GitHub platform to enumerate uh, different information. So let's say I'm looking for Microsoft, right? My, we all know that uh, Microsoft had different products and they would have different application like here is one of the Microsoft Learning, Microsoft Graph, uh, and uh, there are Microsoft Azure AD and maybe Microsoft API guidelines. So yeah, it might be interesting. <laughs> you should have a look at about it, right? So there are mul multiple uh, you know uh, URL from or different uh, links where they have hosted something and the other thing by Microsoft so yeah this might be interesting you can have a look but let's focus on here so you could see that uh, this is one of the repository results so this is where you get the repository different repository again in github language it is repository in your language you might be understanding it is an URL where they would have something information right but a repository is basically you can consider as an one of the block of information or let's say one block in a village or something like that right now in your account go ahead and sign up so that uh, you can access some of the more information so over here you could see that uh, you know this is some of the information that uh, uh, different course that you can find from different repository now you would have something commit uh, that is something that changes that the developer typically do and you see that dot net sdk something sometime you look at the commit or maybe look at the changes and try to find out different bug right um, i'll be giving you that example maybe in some different video because that is one of the deeper concept now you would also see that uh, you know issues where 
you will get to see different issues about uh, like, like let's say Microsoft Teams snapping issue one of the issues that they might be discussing about also there are some of the dis different discussion packages market topic I would definitely recommend you to go ahead and search I mean learn about all these different uh, you know uh, tab so that you get some more information but uh, in github dorking what we can use basically let's say I'm looking for some of the sensitive information that is the password if somebody has leaked their password somewhere so I will be mostly getting that in the code section and I can directly go to the code and you could see that there are some of the password highlighted even though there is no such password leaked over here but all you need to do is uh, you need to scroll down because there are very huge you know 13 million is something very huge number of output so what I can do is I can replace this password with docker underscore password and see if we can fetch some password somewhere within the page right so you can hear one of the docker environment that has been used which is bad and uh, let me go through page 4 5 right so uh, here you could see that it's officially from Microsoft and also they have docker password equal to 1 2 3 4 5 maybe some of the example that they are trying to set but this is how you can basically lead to find some of the sensitive information that uh, not everyone is supposed to see this kind of information right because you are leaking away password and that way somebody can basically perform various attack on your application now uh, on your application in the sense over here uh, Microsoft app application now I have a list of uh, you know Google Docs that I will pin in the comment box so probably you can go through this and uh, you know try off some of them and uh, see what information that you are able to you know figure so this will basically help you to understand uh, how you can utilize the github dark better and uh, try to get friendly to that so that you get more information now one of the bug that i actually wanted to talk about is let me quickly figure out that uh, i believe this one right so some security searcher uh, probably back in 2019 he has actually used this snapchat leak on github one of the bug uh, that he has found in 2018 yes so he could actually find out some of the leak token from github snapchat and he reported that issue and he basically got something around 15,000 USD pretty huge amount huh? so if you open this particular URL uh, this is where you will get the details about the particular report right so you could see the clear text storage of sensitive information probably token yes so you could see that payload authorization token uh, that is getting leaked which definitely allow someone to utilize the token to perform various attack on the snapchat application in fact there are some more uh, vulnerability also you can go through some of the hacker one report to find out such leakage how this github basically gives some security searcher a very very huge amount of uh, bug bounty right so this is one of the short video or i would not short but I, this is one of the useful video that i wanted to share because just now i was performing one of the assessment where there was need to use this github to find out different um, vulnerability or maybe find out hard coded password and trust me guys when i was in one of our organization when we did one of the red team activity i got some of the password from github account and use against the particular target or different ip within the organization and 50% uh, of them work for different server like ftp server or even for some of them it worked in their web application and different uh, places also that's how we could actually able to log in as a root or maybe log in as admin so this is how critical github can be if you uh, misconfigure some of the information or leak some of the information so I hope this video would have helped you to understand it better about different vulnerability. Again, I would uh, provide the link about the GitHub doc in the description box, not the description box, in the comment box pin, so that you can go ahead and learn from it. So thanks for watching this video. Have a great time. See you soon with another video. Take care.